President Trump says the mainstream media have become what part of what he calls the radical left Democrat Party. The president's latest tweets come as he fends off allegations of racism over his criticism of a group of progressive Democrat congresswomen. Tonight, we take a look at how the media are covering this controversy all week long. Here's Fox News media analyst and host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz. President Trump says he wasn't happy that some in a North Carolina crowd chanted that about Ilhan Omar, the Somali-born congresswoman who he was criticizing along with three other freshman Democrats. The president unloaded on the press today, tweeting, it's amazing how the fake news media became crazed over the chant, send her back, but is totally calm and accepting of the most vile and disgusting statements made by the three radical left congresswomen, and that their movement now includes the mainstream media. But even pro-Trump commentators like Piers Morgan denounced the chant as shameful and racist. And while the president said he started speaking right away, he actually paused during the chant for 13 seconds. Trump declined today to criticize the rally goers. Those are incredible people. Those are incredible patriots. He also ripped a New York Times columnist who accused him of racism, saying Thomas the Chin Friedman, a weak and pathetic sort of guy, really nasty to me in his average IQ columns, but kissed my A in a recent call. Phony. Friedman says he's respectful toward people he disagrees with, and Trump should try that. The Washington Post and other outlets are branding Trump's tweets, saying the congresswoman should go back to where they came from and fix things before returning as racist. Four Democratic congresswomen of color have just spoken publicly as a group for the first time about the racist tweets aimed at them by the president of the United States. President Trump has sparked a storm of outrage after a series of racist tweets targeting members of Congress. President Trump today denying that his racist tweets were racist. Trump's tweets have been widely panned as racist, though he denies it. But if it's that obvious, why don't straight news reporters and anchors avoid taking sides by showing the full context and letting readers and viewers decide? Brett? All right, Howie, thank you.